What is up everybody? Today we are looking at a athlete from Japan who has a background in karate who made a brilliant transition to kickboxing, actually became the kickboxing champion within 1FC at 145 pounds, my weight class. I remember watching this guy the first time I saw him going, wow, he is sharp. He would be such a hard fight. Very, very difficult to defeat. We are talking about Hiroki Akimoto, we're going to look at two of his fights today and focus in on some of the rounds that he does some really cool stuff. So we're starting with him facing this Chinese athlete. This Chinese athlete was sort of pound for pound number one in this weight class. A lot for Akimoto to take on. I don't know if I'm going to pronounce his name right, Q or Chu, but either way, Let's admire the skills of Akimoto. Look at what his karate, karate background has brought to his kickboxing game. He has a big low kick there. He does the jump step in. Look at how he fires that low kick. He gets a little bit of a drop on it, that spectacular angle that many of the karate guys from the Kyokushin or Yoshikai background that I used to train with, they would bring that drop to their low kicks. The other thing I always note about karate practitioners is they have beautiful technique. And it was about 10 seconds ago now, but that high knee he threw was beautiful. Also very fluid from one technique to the next. A lot of times Karate fighters struggle getting their boxing down, but Akimoto has done a very nice job. Good high guard. Everything is so beautiful. I, I love the transition there. The speed at which he throws the hand to the low kick. So fast and such little time between techniques. Well, well look at that one. While still maintaining beautiful technique. One of the things that he does so well, oh, I was just gonna say is the high kick. We hadn't seen our good one yet, but there it was. And again, look at that. Three times in a row, none of them landing super flush, but still fantastic. He gets his, I saw him doing a tutorial one time on this uh, high kick, and it's basically him coming up on this weird angle where his knee is straight above his foot, lift it as high as you can, but then rapidly lift your foot to the horizontal height of the knee and then drop the kick down. We'll see if we uh, can spot him doing any high kicks off the right leg. See if we can note that technique. We've moved into round number three. We saw round number one. Now we're in number three. Round number two, the Chinese athlete won. And now they're battling out to see who takes the victory in the third and final round. Uh, you can see right there on that high kick, he brought his knee really high up and then tried that transition, but his opponent just did a little fade back. Good step off to the left there on that low kick. I really like that from the karate athletes. Get their whole body, the whole momentum of moving to your left into that low kick and the drop. I also find very often that the karate practitioners do a really good job with body shots because if they have that Kyokushin background, they're only used to throwing punches to the body. We haven't seen Akimoto open up too much with that part of his arsenal yet. And it's really hard to appreciate just how good he is right now because, like I said, he's fighting the guy who at this time hadn't lost a kickboxing fight in something like, I remember I think it was five or six years. I remember scouting out his opponent because a couple of times they asked me to face him and going like, oh man, this Chinese fighter is so good. But Akimoto doing an amazing job. Like We just saw him land that beautiful high kick. 
And right now we're watching him fight somebody from China. Next up, as soon as this round is done, we're going to move into him facing the Muay Thai fighter who is actually the champ in 1FC. So when they face off for the belt. So we're taking the best rounds from him so we can really appreciate the beauty of his style. Oh, that was a lovely sweep there from his opponent, though. That's the one danger about doing that little jump to the side as you kick. It's a lot easier to sweep your leg out because it's not planted to the floor. Ooh, once again, just showing that kick a little too much. Nice body shot there. Trying to pressure, pressure at the end of the round. He ends up taking that win, which was a big, big upset. Here we go. He's fighting Capitan, who is the champion at this time. Capitan struggles a little bit with the rule set and not being able to clinch. I believe that's what he's getting a warning for there. No grabbing. I was looking at facing Capitan when I was first talking with 1FC and I went, you know, this is a dude I can beat, but he brings the fight. He brings it hard in the first couple rounds. Look at that left knee just walking straight forward. Akimoto has to come up with some sort of strategy here because what he's doing, aside from this excessive clenching, but it doesn't really look like it was that excessive. He's throwing the knees, falling. But aside from that, in my mind, Capitan was doing a very good job early in the fight. No clenching. Oh man, that's, we didn't see the previous two rounds, so we don't know how much of that, how many warnings he took. It seemed a little unnecessary that early in the third round, but again, we don't know what happened before. I do not like that rule within uh, kickboxing at 1FC. Nice left hook. Akimoto keeping everything crisp. Look at that, that left knee of his is sharp. They are just brawling here. This is something that Japanese fighters can do and are very often willing to do. Look at him work there. This is a young fighter too. He's not somebody who's in his 30s, or at least at this point was not in his 30s. And to get to the point where you're fighting for a 1FC championship in your 20s, that's, that's darn impressive. Good strong defense, keeping those hands really tight is Akimoto. Looks like it's hard to land anything massive and flush on him. Not sure what's happening now. They took away the clinch, they took away the catching of the kicks. I think it watered the sport down a little. What are they? Another card. Jeez. So that's equivalent to two knockdowns in this round. That hurts. Can't say I agree with that, but we're not here to score it. We're here to appreciate the skills of Akimoto. Good blocking, good blocking. Look how well he takes that low kick. Not so much Capitan. He looks hurt now. He's, he's buckling. But the Japanese fighters in general, especially if you have that karate background, you do not care about those low kicks. He will take those over and over and just slam them back. Yeah, so he just takes it. Doesn't care. Right back at that leg. And again, even from the clench throwing it, that's, that's a super karate style move. 
Oh, here we go. Get those karate low kicks happening right from there. Can he do it again? Yes, he does. Connect the hands, chop the leg, something we wouldn't normally see. Nice counter hook. Fight changed fast there. Capitan coming out at the beginning so strong. Japanese fighters have loads of heart, heart for days. All right, here we go. That was round number three. We're gonna move to round number four. This is our last round for this video. Admiring the skills of Akimoto. You can go and find his fights on 1FC YouTube channel. The full ones really appreciate what he has to offer stylistically for fight sports. Back to that low kick. Well, we got caught with an uppercut there, but rallies really well. Back to that leg. Right now, he's just, he's just showing what I think of a Japanese spirit when I'm watching him right now. In the last fight, I was going, wow, these are beautiful techniques. Now I'm just admiring that spirit, that, that killer, yeah, I'll stand in here and throw with you. Oh, but there's that high kick. So unique the way he does it. I would love to see a slow motion breakdown of that right there. See exactly what he's doing. Beautiful high knee. Timed it so well. Mixing up there. Punch to kick. It's a good fight. Definitely one that's worth going and watching in its entirety. Only half the round left at this point. Woo. There's been some fights where I've seen him toss some knees in where I go, wow, those are sharp. Just a little, little lift off to the side. Beautiful foot sweep there. And then once the knee's off to the side, he just kind of snaps it in. He snaps it in and creates some good power from a short distance. Karate fighters are not always successful at making the transition into the combat sports where you're allowed to punch to the face when it's full contact. But when they do successfully make the transition, they adapt and they do what Akimoto has done, get some good boxing. They are killers and their bodies are so conditioned, they are so tough. Obviously not if you come from the point fighting style, but when you come from those full contact styles, some of the toughest fighters you'll ever see. Just gotta make that little transition to some solid boxing and some good hand defense. So I hope you guys enjoy getting to watch Akimoto again. I urge you to go check out some of his fights. And as always, guys, I appreciate you joining me today. I'll see you back here soon.